What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Melissa here, and today I'm doing a different kind of video, but I thought I would try something different for you guys, and it is basically, I'm just going to style a couple outfits while talking to you guys, pretty much, so this is the first outfit that I've styled, and I'm super into like these kind of like dress shirts, but are like kind of like either leaving buttons open or are a little bit more v-necked. This one I left two buttons open, but I actually thrifted this today. I actually think I'll probably style a few things that I thrifted today. But I actually thrifted this shirt today and it has this cute little white polka dot detail all over it. I styled it with just like a black bralette. I thought that was super cute as well and with of course my um, necklaces that I've been honestly wearing every single day. Just on the bottom, I have just these J brand jeans that I thrifted, and they are honestly my best fitting jeans ever. And then on the feet are just these mules. I'm obsessed with mules right now. Like, I feel like any outfit I want to wear mules with them, and I can't wait till there's no more snow on the ground because it just snowed again today, so I can't really wear them. But definitely coming in the spring, I'll be wearing mules a ton. So I so yeah, that's just outfit number one, kind of simple. And let's get into outfit number two. Okay, so outfit number two is definitely a little bit more out there, and into that more biker kind of look that I'm actually honestly in love with recently. I'm super digging this outfit. This is probably like something that I'm going to be wearing a lot come springtime. Um, it's a little bit more summery I guess with the shorts but I kind of made it a little bit less with the um, patent leather boots. I love red a lot as you can see from the last outfit. I had that red shirt on and now this super badass outfit. I love fishnet detail. I love the biker t-shirt and the red shorts. And then just to finish off this bomb look, obviously had to include the patent leather boots. So yeah, that's basically another outfit right here. Put this one together pretty quickly because I knew exactly what I wanted and it just came together super easily. So this is outfit number three and as I mentioned before, I think this one is my favorite one. Like I like the other two a lot too, but I feel like I might say that every time I put on an outfit because I love clothes so much. But don't be afraid of doing a white on white on white because honestly, I feel like we've lived the last three years just wearing black every single day of our lives and don't get me wrong, I love the color black, but I feel like spring is the time where you can just put in a little bit of color into your wardrobe and I feel like this spring, like as we've seen on New York Fashion Week, a lot of color is definitely rotating throughout the outfits, so wearing a white on white outfit is definitely something that I will be doing a ton this springtime. So my jacket is this gorgeous um, faux leather jacket, moto jacket from Zara. I just got it a couple weeks ago actually and I'm in love with it. Um, underneath is just a like off the shoulder, an off the shoulder shirt from H&M. I'm still wearing my necklaces because I don't take those off ever. And then I added this pop of a green colored um, probably faux Chanel um, bag that I thrifted and I love green. Green is the color of the year, I think it said. And then on the bottom, I'm wearing those um, pearl denim jeans that I DIY'd. If you want to check that video out, I'll link it down below on how I DIY'd these. I think they're just so cute. And then again, on the bottom, some more white. I just added those mules again. I love these mules so much. I'm going to be wearing them a ton come the springtime. So yeah, this is basically outfit number three. I'm digging it so much. Like. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, as for outfit number four, this is definitely something a little bit more casual, but definitely something that I would wear on an everyday basis. I love the jacket. Patching is super in, again, with that like race car rocker chick kind of thing, and it's red. I saw this at the thrift store and immediately threw it in my cart. So yeah, definitely going to be rocking this a ton. It is super light, so it will keep you warm-ish on the chillier spring nights. But it's not too heavy that it will be like you'll be killing yourself in the warmth. So yeah, and then I just basically threw on a white t-shirt and some black 
some black pants and my hirachis, my red hirachis to match the jacket. And then my bag is just like a black Chanel bag to finish off the whole entire look. So as for outfit number five, this is what I like to call my very Zara inspired outfit. I feel like this is something that they would definitely throw on one of their models or onto the runway, honestly. I'm pretty sure I've seen this outfit this year and it's just stuck in the back of my head and I just can't get it out. But basically what I did was throw on that same white t-shirt from the last outfit except I untied it and I'm just wearing it normally. And then on top of it, layers are super in obviously as you know. And then on top of that, I just threw on this velour um, bustier that I actually thrifted again today. I did a pretty big thrift haul today. <laughs> But um, yeah, that's basically what I have on top. Now moving on to the bottoms. I have these gorgeous flare um, cropped denim jeans. They fit me so perfectly. Honestly, never had jeans that fit me so well. I'm pretty sure they're by the brand of Buffalo, which is a pretty good um, denim company, but they're pretty distressed up at the waist, which I really love. I actually spotted a pair of jeans at Zara that are kind of similar to this, except they didn't have any flares on the bottom. But yeah, I love the flare, um, the flare on these. They, they hit me right at the exact perfect spot. And then on the shoe end, I obviously have a pair of mules that I also picked up today. And they're just these gorgeous gold metallic mules. Honestly, metallics are super in also. So I had to pick these up as well today. I got quite a lot of super awesome pieces today and I definitely showed you a lot of them in this whole video. But yeah, this basically sums up the whole entire video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a little thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye.